Welcome, and thank you for watching this training video on how to attach patient documents. To add new documents for any patient in the system, click on the Attach Documents button. Clicking on Attach Documents will open up the Attach Patient Documents window. This window is divided into two parts, the left-hand side for the documents that you're about to load, and the right-hand side for the patient and document type selectors. First, we should choose a specific patient. Since the last patient I was working on was James Demo, the system automatically thinks I want to scan a document for James Demo. If I'd like to scan a document for another patient, I can use this handy patient search button to go search for any patient that I'd like. Here, let's scan a document for Joe Smith. On the left-hand side of the screen, go ahead and click the Open Image button, select the document that you'd like to attach, and double-click. The EHR will now load that document on the left-hand side of the screen. On the right-hand side of the screen, we've already selected the patient. All we have to do now is move this document over to the right-hand side. Once a document is moved over to the right-hand side, we can select a document type, and this looks like a cardiology note, a status. We can mark this document status as closed because nobody in my office needs to further interact with this document. We just like to keep it on the record for the specific patient. We'd also like to share this document with the patient through the patient portal, so I'll mark it as a PHR. And when I'm finished with my entries, I can go ahead and click Save. Clicking Save will remove the document from the right-hand side of the screen as well. But now, if we go to this patient's record, we'll see the document that we just scanned has been successfully loaded on this patient's chart. Additionally, it's also shared with the patient through the PHR. You can attach any type of document to the patient's chart. You can attach images, videos, audio files, PDFs, Word documents, and many, many more. Any document that you're unable to attach through the standard scanning and attaching process, you can attach as a miscellaneous attachment. A miscellaneous attachment will open up the standard document viewer. For example, even though PDFs cannot be viewed directly in the EHR the way these scanned documents can be viewed, attaching a PDF is very easy. Let me show you how. Go into the patient's document section, and view the attached documents for that patient. If you'd like to attach a new file that's not a scanned image, but perhaps is a multimedia file, click on Miscellaneous Attachments, go ahead and click New, and then browse the path where that document is saved. Find the path where that document is saved and open up that document. Now choose a document type, and enter any notes that you have on this document. Click Save to save this document. Returning back to the Patient Documents section, we'll show you that you have a new document that's been attached, and it's a miscellaneous attachment. Click on that miscellaneous attachment to open up that document in your window.